we were walking down the street and we stumbled upon a wedding. Mm -hmm. We heard some chihus in there, so we knew the food was gonna be good. So today, we're gonna teach you how to level up your kitchen without even going shopping. Mm -hmm. Guys, make sure when we go inside that wedding, you guys grab a plate, grab two, and get as much food as you guys can, okay? It's vital that you blend in with your surroundings. Look like the people. You have to look like them. Make sure your dance moves are on point. Practice them before you come. The better the dance moves, the more people don't question how much food you are taking to your car. They believe that you're just there. Like yes. You belong there. You belong. Own the space. Own it. Blend in. Just like a blender with the fruits. One thing you want to make sure when the kids are getting their plates, they're not getting kids plates. Make sure they get adults plates. Stack those plates as high as you can so there's not more food that you get inside your van. Daddy, I don't want any of that. <laughs> hey, you shut your mouth, okay? You take this food. Okay, stop being selfish. We need it for our family. Take as much food as you guys can. Okay, you have double. Come on, come here, baby. Come here, baby. The goal is to get through as many times as possible. One trick that I found is to use babies, use kids. Pick up any random baby, like this one. I have no idea whose kid this is, but it gives me extra plates that I can take home to my family. Can I get another extra, extra chicken? Haven't you been in line already? No, 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 the baby. The baby, I need an extra plate for the baby. Extra chicken. Eye strategy is another key part of food eating. Mm -hmm. And it's be premeditated so that you understand what each other are saying, even from across the room. When I give the other person a look like this, what does that mean? Five plates. Yes, if I wear this, what's that mean? Bathroom time. And bring the five plates there so I can eat it. Mm -hmm. Some people like the front door approach, or they mingle with the people outside. I like the back door approach, where I get to mingle with the staff. Be one of them. Act like one of them. Start demanding people around. It requires stealth, it requires ninjutsu. Oh, uh, we, uh, we need two pads of palusami. Two pads of palusami. What? We don't even have palusami. Oh. Then uh, we need two pets, Pony Popo. Two pets, Pony Popo, right? Pony Popo. What? We don't even have that either. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna check what they, because they said they wanted that stuff, so I'll just be back. To maximize the amount of food you get from a wedding, you have to be prepared. Yes, my personal choice is tin foil. And not just the dollar cheap kind, the industrial kind. Yes, I like to use Tupperware. It keeps it nice and sturdy and contained until I get to my house. Sometimes if I don't have Tupperware, I like to use anything I find around my house. Yogurt, ice cream bottles, salsa cups. Hey man, this is a great wedding, bro. What's your name? Harris, we've got the same auntie. Auntie, okay, bye.